I'm here with Jan Iverson, director of Bobble Car Safety Center. So safety systems are a fundamental building block for autonomous vehicles. Why is safety so important when it comes to imagining what self-driving cars will actually be able to do? Yeah, self-driving cars, that is uh, a one big challenge for the future. And uh, that means that you need to build up uh, the safety from the bottom and up and uh, having uh, uh, a solid protective safety in the car because even if we will have uh, autonomous driving cars in the future they will live in uh, a, an environment where you will meet other type of cars you can be hit by another car you know and then uh, you have also the interaction with other type of uh, uh, things in the in out in traffic like you have uh, pedestrians cyclists that could be out on the road where you don't expect them to be you know so cars even if you say they will not crash in the future we have a lot of stepping stones in between where we need to have a solid performance of the cars from a, a safety aspect all of the safety technology that volvo has puts volvo's cars at a level two out of five levels of autonomy what is the time frame for getting to levels three four and five yeah you know it's a lot of uh, homework to be done from a research perspective. So we are running uh, that home at our office right now. It's uh, uh, understanding the mechanism behind uh, level four, that is our natural next step. Uh, we think, you know, the in-between uh, situation where it's not that clear what is uh, happening with the driver together with the car, is too much of a tough uh, situation for the driver underestimating his driving task in a especially critical situation. So what we need is to do uh, uh, research and uh, we have a, a firm plan for introducing uh, a uh, autonomous driving car by the year 2021. But that would require that we do our homework from, from a research perspective of course. From a technical development perspective uh, we have some different tracks that we need to uh, do in parallel for the future. One is uh, equipping the cars with functions and sensor and uh, smart software to uh, take in uh, local information around the car and do uh, decisions about how you maneuver the car. And in parallel with that, we need to take in information from the environment and other cars uh, and use that as input in how we decide to maneuver the car. And that is done in parallel. Uh, and uh, it's challenging from different aspects, you know. If we talk about connectivity, we need to agree with the rest of the engineering community and the infrastructure how to do it. That could be done, but you know, it needs uh, that you agree on protocols that we need to develop together, so to say. Well, thank you very much. Thank you.